Well, you can probably tell it's uh, a bloody freeze and I've got the Sub-Zero hat on. I only stick this on when it uh, gets really bloody cold. So uh, we've got that at the moment. We've had the first bit of snowfall. Your fisheries are likely to be frozen this week. So I thought it's a good, good opportunity for you to have a look at a few of the jobs while the anglers are away. And uh, so I'm gonna highlight a job now. It's one that I hold probably in the highest regard for improving your fisheries, uh, the whole ecosystem and how things recycle in your fishery so it's a really really important video and like I say something I hold uh, in, of high importance so uh, make sure you're paying attention. Bankside trees provide a mature aesthetic that creates a sheltered angling environment which we all prefer to fish in. When we highlight the hindrance of these trees on the aquatic ecosystem, we're often met with the argument that our management plan destroys that mature feel. A venue we recently worked at was a great example that I'll use to explain the impact of shade casting trees and why we suggest controlling them. Let's start with why the sunlight is so important. The sun is a crucial element of the nitrogen cycle which is required to allow plants and algae to photosynthesize. It's this photosynthesis process that's needed to absorb the nitrates produced by the nitrogen cycle. Limiting the sunlight allows the nitrogen to build up without sufficient absorption from plants, algae and weed. This build up of food for the algae can create a situation where the algae will bloom aggressively. This algae bloom can become so successful in exploiting this nitrogen opportunity that they quickly exhaust the supply causing the algae to die. Oxygen will crash very quickly in these circumstances because aerobic bacteria are extremely reactive in processing single dead algae cells. In doing so, they demand oxygen and therefore quickly exhaust the oxygen supplies in the water. Allowing UV energy to reach the water ensures consistent photosynthesis to keep those nitrate levels controlled, reducing the risk of opportunistic algae blooms which thrive and dive. The sunlight is also carrying valuable heat energy which the trees on the southern and westerly banks will intercept and absorb to grow, and we want the water to absorb this heat energy. The temperature contrast between sunlight and shade might only be 1 or 2 degrees which don't make much of a difference in a day or a week but those degree hours over a year all accumulate to contribute substantially to the 10 year growth trajectory of any fishery. Temperature is not only key for the efficiency of the digestive enzymes related to fish growth, but also another crucial element to the nitrogen cycle. The warmer the water, the faster the bacteria will reproduce and recycle organic debris into the food chain. So we've briefly explained the importance of the sun and how trees compromise the organic recycling process, but trees not only hinder the efficiency of the nitrogen cycle, they're also the main contributors of organic litter entering the very same cycle. Imagine the tons of leaves deposited into the water every year from these trees. You're going to need a very efficient nitrogen cycle to process that lot. So if the sun travels from east to west, it's the southern and westerly trees that block the strongest hours of sunlight. Look how the south and easterly facing bank of trees here are casting a shadow across a probably 80% of the lake. Bearing in mind this is the winter when the trees are naked, so this shadow will be much more light blanking than this in the summer. That's an 80% reduction of morning sunlight that can be utilised to improve the efficiency of the nitrogen cycle and overall water temperature. Now think about all the leaf contribution from all those trees. The prevailing winds that sweep across the UK more often than not come from the southwest. Therefore, the trees and branches from the trees on the southwest banks will most likely all end up deposited into the water. We would ideally uproot bankside trees where practical and replace the space with marginal plants like Carex, which absorb nitrogen without stealing that all-important sunlight required to work its magic on the ecosystem. Every single daylight hour of sunlight counts. To finish on a positive, we find identifying these opportunities for improvement extremely exciting, particularly considering the condition of the stock already at this venue and the management's appetite for improvement. So to take away from this video, control the trees which provide the most hours of shade across the water and you'll enhance the health of the ecosystem more than you realise. This is the BP Milling YouTube channel, the place for fishery management content. If you've found value to this video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.